Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to use Snappy Hex Mesh and mesh this propeller which you see on the screen. So that propeller is just the previous uh, video's content, which is importing any CAD model into OpenFoam in three simple steps. So we imported a STL model, which is that propeller inside OpenFoam. And we saw how to scale up and scale down in the previous video. If you haven't watched that video, please go and watch it. And in this video, we are going to use snappy hex mesh and mesh this propeller and create an enclosure around it. So we will see how to do the meshing. First, let's see what are the case files I have. For uh, meshing, we are not interested in the zero file. So I will just go into constant. And in this, we have the tri surface. Uh, all these are not essential. So we are just interested in meshing. So inside the tri surface, I have the STL file. So this STL file is same as what we imported in the previous video. So I highly recommend that you watch the previous video before continuing with this. So this is the file which we are going to use for meshing. Now I will show you what the file actually looks like. Yes, this is the propeller and uh, we have done all the scaling for this. So this is what we are going to mesh in this video. And we have it here. The main thing is we have to go to system and inside this we have to set up three files mainly. One is block mesh dict which will create the background mesh and the other is snappy hex mesh dict which is the uh, file which will create the mesh. And there is surface feature extract dict which will extract the feature from the STL and uh, convert it into dot e mesh which is open form understandable format. So first we will set up block mesh dict and then we will go with everything else. So in the block mesh I have chosen these coordinates. I will uh, give all these file uploaded in my drive and I will put the link in the description. You can download it if you want. And I have chosen this coordinates to enclose the entire propeller properly without leaving any parts. We will visualize that in a moment. So I have uh, discretized or uh, divided X direction as 35 blocks, Y as 35 and Z as 70. So we are not interested in the boundary here as of now. So we will just leave that as such. Uh, in this tutorial, we are just going to see how to generate the snappy X mesh for the propeller, propeller and how to refine it. So now we will jump into the terminal window and I am already in the directory where I have all these files. You can see the zero constant system and para foam file are there. Now I'm going to run this block mesh. So I have run the block mesh. Now we can visualize what the block mesh actually looks like. Okay, this is the mesh we just created. As I said, we are not interested in what is inlet, what is outlet and what is wall. As of now, we can change that uh, as we need when we are running the simulation. So this is the block mesh. Now I will open the uh, STL file also for your reference to see how it encloses. So as you can see, the block mesh completely encloses this. So this block mesh will be acting as the fluid domain and the propeller will be the solid. So we are not interested in keeping the solid as you might know. So we are going to mesh this. Ideally, we should have a cylindrical uh, enclosure, but this is also fine for a tutorial case. If you want to go with cylindrical enclosure, you can always do it. Okay, now uh, we are going to see how to set up snappy hex mesh. To set up snappy hex mesh, first we need the e-mesh format of file. To generate that, we have to set up surface feature extract it. So I'll open that. This is a very simple file. All you have to do is uh, select the name of the file. And we have two functions. One is extraction method, which is extract from surface and include angle. So include angle is like up to what angle you want to include from the uh, STL file. So 180 is the maximum. So I have kept 180 because propeller is highly complicated case. Now, uh, after we set up that, we have to go to the terminal 
and we will type surface feature extract so we have to see this end perfectly now if you go to try mesh you will see that there is a propeller.emesh as well as there is a new folder called extended feature edge mesh so this poly mesh is just containing the block mesh this is the one which the surface feature extract dict has created okay now we will go to snappy hex mesh dict file okay. and uh, in the snappy hex mesh dict i have already set up the case so it's like the castellated mesh is true and the snapping is true for this tutorial i am not adding layers if you want to add layers you can proceed and do it and the geometry is just propeller.stl and the type is tri surface mesh name is propeller so this name is what will be displayed as the uh, name of the boundary so you can choose it whatever you want and i am just leaving this as default i will also put this file in the link so you can download and use it for the features i am using propeller.emesh on the level 4 is fine but first we will see what is there in level 3 and then we will do with level 4 also to see what difference it is making so first i am setting this to level 3 and even for refinement surfaces i am keeping it as 3 3 so we have to choose the uh, name so this name is same as what we give here and there is no refinement region for this case for resolve feature angle so however uh, it is like the smaller the angle the better the resolving of feature so it is usually fine to keep 30 degrees or 25 but i am keeping 10 degrees in this case and location in this mesh is like if you keep the location inside the propeller then the mesh will be generated inside the propeller but we want it outside the propeller inside the block mesh to create the fluid domain so i have selected a point which is outside the propeller but inside the block mesh and uh, we can allow freestanding zones as false so this is all uh, just you can leave it as default it doesn't matter but if you want to refine you have to change this and uh, get the mesh which you intended and main mistake many people do is that they will keep the implicit feature snap as true and explicit will be false so this will be creating block kind of uh, surface and not a smooth surface so make sure that explicit is true and implicit is false and we are not adding layers so i will not care about this and mesh quality controls is also important but you can pretty much leave that default and uh, we will now run the snappy hex mesh deck but before that we will decompose it so in my case i am decomposing but if you don't want to run it parallelly it doesn't matter you can directly run it but i have eight cores so i am going to run it in uh, parallel to ma make the mesh faster so i am going to do decompose par okay now i can see that i have seven uh, zero to seven which is eight number of processes so if you do not want to do it parallelly like you don't know uh, whether you want to do it parallelly or not then you can skip the decompose par step and just type snappy hex mesh then overwrite so this will pretty much do but i am not going to do it in series i am going to do it in parallel so i am going to use this command npi run nph snappy hex mesh overwrite parallel so this will create the mesh for me with the refinement level of 3 and on the surface also it will be 3 so let's see what is the mesh it is generating so now finally the meshing is done so we have to reconstruct everything which is uh, decomposed so the command is reconstruct par mesh hyphen constant okay now we can view the mesh i'll go here and i'll hide this propeller go to para.form and give refresh if you try to move something it will get refresh now i am just going to see how the surface of propeller came as you can see the fluid enclosure is there and there is a propeller okay now i just choose propeller here and click apply 
I'll go to surface with edges. As you can see, this is like a pretty decent mesh. But if you are uh, wanting to do something very highly intensive on the aerodynamics of the propeller, then these might cause some problem. So what you have to do is refine the surface. So to do that, we have to do the uh, replace all the snappy hex mesh generated files by running the block mesh again. So it will pretty much replace every file in poly mesh. So it's like resetting. And uh, I'll go to the snappy hex mesh dict. Here we will change the refinement levels. Like I'll change this to four. I'll change this to four and four. If you want to refine it more, you can do it like four, five also, four space five or you can keep this even as 5 so it it is up to you if you want it like less uh, refined like coarse mesh it's up to you as well now i will save this file and again i will remove all the processor files now we don't have any of those processor files so i will decompose it again and again i will run the snappy hex mesh dict now let's wait for the mesh to be over. Now the meshing is over, so we can reconstruct it. Okay, now I'll go here and refresh it again. Now, as you can see, it is uh, much refined than what it was before so this is what the refinement level does to the uh, geometry now you can do your own trial and error and find the right refinement levels so it is about the time if you have more refinement the meshing will take longer if you have less refinement the meshing will be faster but you won't get smooth surface so that that is all about this tutorial as i said this is not a tutorial to set up the case with the boundary conditions it's only about setting up snappy hex mesh so i will give all the files which i used with the structure itself without the zero files so that's it for this video thank you for watching in this video if you have any doubts or queries please feel free to leave it in the comment section Consider subscribing to the channel and dropping a like to the video. See you in another video. Thank you.